In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly relieve sit bone pain in a very easy to follow step-by-step -step guide. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to focus on relieving pain around the ischial tuberosity, commonly known as the sit bone because it's the spot on the pelvis that we sit on. What usually causes pain in this area is because of prolonged sitting, but another big cause is because of a blend of weakness and tightness in the hamstring muscle and tendons that builds inflammation in this area, leading to what is known as hamstring tendinopathy and ischial bursitis. Pretty much causes pain across the buttocks and also the back of the thigh. To make getting relief easy, I'm going to break the video up into a step-by-step -step guide that's going to focus on removing tension into this muscle and its tendons but also helping to strengthen them and the muscles that support the hamstrings for both quick and long-lasting relief. While each exercise is different, they are meant to work together. To get the best results, go through them all. With that being said, let's get started. So if you're dealing with a lot of sit bone pain right now, the first thing to do is to release tension and tightness in the hamstring muscle and its tendons. Here's a really easy way to be able to do this. What we need is a flat elevated surface. The edge of a bed works perfectly. It just needs to be high enough where our feet will not touch the floor. We're also going to need something soft and round like a tennis ball. If you don't have a tennis ball, roll up several large socks into a ball. You could probably even make a fist. Just make sure that it doesn't irritate your hand. So let's start off by getting into position. We're going to bend our knees roughly at 90 degrees and have them flush against the edge of that surface. Let's take our ball, place it right behind our knee. And what you're going to do is press your leg into the ball to the point where it's going to cause just enough pressure to create a very comfortable self massage. Once you feel that, you're just going to rock your leg from side to side, kind of like a pendulum. As you do this, you're going to feel that ball glide over the soft tissues, the tendons and the muscles, and it usually feels really, really good. I like to go over one spot roughly for about five to 10 seconds. Afterwards, I relax, see how it feels. If it feels pretty loose, really no pain, achiness, or tightness in that spot, I just move up my thigh right here towards the sit bone and keep repeating this over and over again. What you're going to find is that one certain spot is just the pinpoint spot of pain tightness or achiness. At that point, stop over that spot and keep repeating this over and over again until everything is nice and loose. But if you do find that one certain spot just does not want to release, this is how we can take this exercise to the next level. So let's place the ball right over that spot. This time around though, we're going to take our hands and place it right over the top of our thigh and really drive our leg into the ball to intensify that self-massage. Again, not to the point where it's going to be causing a lot more pain. From there, we're going to hold our leg right here and then start to straighten our knee, almost kind of like a kicking motion of trying to take our foot upward towards the ceiling. What you're going to notice is that spot over the ball becomes very sensitive. What this does is actually allows the hamstring to relax a little bit more. So as you lift your foot up, you're going to feel the top of your leg right here start to fire. These are the quadriceps or the quads. The quads are antagonistic of the hamstring. So as one tightens, the other releases. So let's tighten the top of our leg right here as much as we can by lifting our foot up, which will allow this to release. And at that point, just press down into the ball. You can also do a little bit of a rocky motion like this to offer that self massage. I like to hold this position for about three to five seconds and then I release it. And I keep repeating this over and over again for about five to 10 repetitions. But if it feels like there's a little bit more tightness left, and this is helping out, you can throw in as many repetitions as you like. From there, just switch over any spot that's needed. Even if the other side doesn't hurt, I would recommend doing this on the other side just to make sure everything is kept nice and loose. So after we're done releasing tension, we're now going to move on to the most important part, strengthening. By strengthening muscles and tendons, it makes it less likely they become injured later on. So let's start off by focusing on the hamstrings. For this one, we need a sturdy chair, preferably one without wheels and one with a little bit more weight to it. Just place the chair 
right up against a wall. Whatever side that you're having the most amount of sit bone pain, let's say it's your right side, you're going to bend that side's knee very slightly and place your heel right at the edge of the chair. What you want to do is mimic this movement, kind of like bending your knee and taking your heel towards your butt. As you do this, you're going to feel the hamstring right here really start to engage. But what the chair is going to do is resist against this movement. So it's a nice isometric exercise. Press your heel up into the chair as much as you can. And if you do notice the chair lifts up, you can just throw some weight towards the edge of the chair. It should hold it and make it nice and sturdy. But you just wanna build into that as much as you can, focusing on feeling on the back of your thigh, working up towards the glutes, right up into the sit bone right here. And you're going to hold this comfortably for three to five seconds. From there, just relax, take a breather, and then repeat this 10 to 15 times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. Afterwards, see how you feel. If you have a little bit more energy, try to challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. And I do recommend doing this on both sides just to keep everything in balance. So another way to be able to strengthen the hamstring muscle and its tendons using a chair is by doing this. Again, let's say we have right-sided sit bone pain. What you're going to do is just place your heel right here on the chair and mimic that movement of trying to take your heel towards your butt. But again, what you're going to notice is the chair resist against that movement. So drive your heel right into the chair as much as you can. Focus on feeling it right here on the back of the thigh, working towards the sit bone, and then hold that comfortably for three to five seconds. Relax repeat this one up to 15 times. But again, if it feels like you have a little bit more energy, try to throw in another set or two. And when you're done on one side, switch to the other and repeat to keep everything in balance. So now let's turn our attention towards strengthening the muscles that help support the hamstrings. By strengthening these muscles, it's going to help take tension and stress off the hamstrings offering sit bone pain relief. This first one is going to target the core muscles. To get into position, we're going to lie on our back in bed or on a floor. You want your legs roughly hip width apart, knees bent. Take your hands, put them off to your side for support. The first movement is called a dead bug tap. It's pretty easy to do. What you're going to do is slowly lower one leg down like this and tap your heel on the bed or the floor and then come back up. And then you're just going to repeat on the other side. As you do this, you're really going to feel those core muscles start to activate. I even feel it down into the pelvic floor, into the glutes. I like to do this one nice and slowly for about 15 repetitions on both sides. But afterwards, see how you feel. If it feels like you have a little bit more energy, try to challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. But for many, this is probably going to be pretty easy. So I would recommend taking this one to the next level by doing the full dead bug. So let's get back into our original position of having our knees bent at 90 degrees. This time around though, you're going to slowly straighten one leg like this, lowering it towards the bed or the floor. So try to straighten your knee out as much as you can, lower that leg down but don't let your foot or your leg touch the bed or the floor. Let it hover about an inch or two above. In this position, you're really going to feel those core muscles start to activate. I feel it all the way into my hips, across my pelvic floor. Hold this comfortably for three to five seconds. Relax and then repeat it on the other side. You want to do this one nice and slowly for 10 repetitions on both sides. But again, afterwards, see how you feel. Challenge yourself if you're able to, to throw in another set or two. So let's move on to strengthening the glutes or the buttocks. For this one, we're going to start on all fours. Depending on how firm your mattress is, you might be able to do this one in bed, but it probably will be easier to do on a floor. So whatever side that you're having the most amount of sit bone pain, let's say it's your right side, you're going to lift that side's knee up slightly, keep it bent at 90 degrees, and then just lift your foot upward towards the ceiling as much as you can. In this position, you're going to feel a ton of muscles start to fire. The core muscles in the front, but you should really feel it across the hips into the glutes right near that sit bone. Try to hold this one comfortably for three to five seconds, relax, and then repeat this one on the other side. Do this nice and slowly 
for 10 to 15 repetitions on both sides. But if it feels like you have a little bit more energy, challenge yourself, try to throw in another set or two. So if this does aggravate your sit bone pain, you can modify this exercise and take a little bit of stress off that area by doing what is called a hydrant instead. So instead of bringing your foot straight up towards the ceiling, what you want to do is keep your knee bent at 90 degrees and just swing it outward like this. Now you know why we call it the hydrant. So give that one a try. It's also going to help strengthen the glutes. If you feel like that position is just a little bit more comfortable go with that one instead but you can really take this exercise to the next level by doing what is called the bird dog so we're going to start on all fours and again whatever side that you're having the most amount of sit bone pain let's say it's your right side what you're going to do is just keep the top of your foot flat on the bed or the floor and slide it away from you pointing your toes away from you at the same time. Build into this one by straightening your knee until you feel a really good activation of the calf muscle that works upward into the back of your thigh over the hamstrings until it finally reaches the hip and the sit bone area. Once you feel that, you're going to hold that position and then slowly raise your leg up like this so it's straight in line with your body. You're going to feel those glutes really start to engage. I really feel it in my hamstrings and the sit bone area. Hold this one comfortably for three to five seconds, relax, and then repeat this one on the other side. Try to do this 10 times on both sides, but again, challenge yourself to throw in another set or two. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.